Hello, Internet, and welcome to another video in my small series of OORAP introduction videos. Today, let's just focus on the repertorization part of OORAP. So let's go. Let's have a look at this um, tab, which is opening right when you go to the web page of OORAP.com. Here on the left, you see this drop down menu where you can choose a repertory that you want to look up the rubrics in um, because I don't want to focus in this video at all on the differences between the different repertories. I just stick with the default here, which is the Publicum repertory, um, and instead want to detail on, on how to get um, uh, ex pretty exact um, results in any of the repertories. So I want to detail on how the search basically works in OORAP, in the repertory part for any repertory, but also in the Materia Medica part. So um, if you just want to watch one video, um, and where the search is explained, um, this this one this one would be it, so to speak. So um, to to demonstrate how search works, let's just assume that um, the symptom we have in mind, the symptom we want to repertorize, or the case we want to to build up, is um, that of a, a say painful a swelling in the mouth. So um, let's just enter mouth um, pain for instance, and uh, we get 286 rubrics. So you get a lot of um, rubrics that um, sort of obviously don't have to do with what I've just described, or most likely not ear pain extending to mouth, to the roof of the mouth. And um, you may think this is way too many rubrics to just um, read them all. Mouth pain, very generic, could be anything. So let's just look for something more specific in the hope to get more specific results. Mouth, gums, pain. Ah, that's better. So that's 46 rubrics. Um, <clears throat> we get the mouth, pain, gums. So the typical bigger rubrics that are a little bit less specific or not very specific at all, really. They don't say whether it's left or right side, up, upper uh, gums or lower gums. Um, but we also get very specific ones, for instance, mouth pain gums, cold air aggravates. And I guess what, what you'd have to do now is if you want to find a specific rubric that is most specific to the symptom that you have in mind, um, read through them and possibly, um, if you're lucky, a rubric like this one here, mouth pain gums, cold air aggravates, uh, matches. So um, well, just for the sake of it, we just add this to our case, for instance, and then we press the plus symbol here, we scroll to the bottom of the page, and we see that um, in our in our case, uh, we have this rubric added. It's only one rubric so far, so if we click on repertorization, not very much will happen. So, But this is not really um, what I want to demonstrate. What I want to demonstrate is <clears throat> um, the fact that, or, 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 or the, the situation that you have studied these 46 rubrics and you haven't really found what you're after. And um, for instance, this uh, mouth pain gums doesn't contain our swelling, you know, that I mentioned. So, or, or even the one that we just added here, the, the mouth pain gums cold air aggravates, where, where's our swelling, for instance. So that's, that's not here. We have to have a look, mouth sore gums stitching. In fact, from just scanning them briefly, I don't see anything about swellings here at all. Uh, so what's going on, you may ask, and um, I, I can demonstrate what's going on because we're, we're not really seeing all the rene re relevant um, rubrics. For instance, if I enter mouth gums painful instead of what we had before, mouth gums pain. So instead of instead of this pain, we have painful and we press um, search. Another five rubrics here are found, and indeed we have our mouth swellings gum painful. We click on the plus and extend our case down here. Can click on repertorize briefly, and uh, we see, for instance, that silica scores very highly. So if you leave the mouse over these remedy names up here, then you get the full name, making it hopefully a bit easier than to identify the remedies. Although I guess these polycrests are pretty well known to everyone, um, which, which usually is um, score quite highly in all the computer repertorization tools, I guess. Right, but um, the point I wanted to make is um, that pain finds, especially finds pain and painful 
finds painful, but not the other. So here comes the first thing which you can do. Instead of looking for a mouth pain and then for a mouth painful and then looking through the pages, what you could have done is you look for mouth pain star. Um, the star symbol here is a so-called wild card and, and star is short for anything. So it's painful, painless. Let's, let's actually have a look how, if there's any mouth painless symptoms here. There is. Uh, yeah, tumors, for instance, tumors are often painless. Um, and then you have mouth tumors painless. So if you want to have everything to do with pain, pains, pains like in, in plural, painless, painful, pain, then the best way to do it is to look for mouth, gums in our case, and pain star. And this gives you 52 rubrics. So this is roughly all these three pages I've shown you um, all added up. And here we have this rubric from before that we've added mouth pain gums co um, cold air aggravates. You see that here it's grayed out a little plus, so we've added it before. And um, we also have our swellings. Yeah? We have our swollen gums, our painfuls. Yeah? So the first thing, the first takeaway message from this video is use wildcards, mouth, gums, pains pain star okay we could have also used um, we can use multiple wildcards um, let me just try whether that is um, whether we look for mouth gum does that also no it doesn't because you could have imagined a situation where you have also gum as in singular and then you can use you can find gum and gums like that so you can use multiple of these of these wildcards and um, and they match pain painful gum gums and so on so another situation um, that might arise is that you are getting um, too many results when you enter something. Um, so the, the previous situation was that we that we dealt with a situation where where not enough results, where not the right result was was showing up, and then we used the wildcard to extend our search. Um, but sometimes we may also get um, too many and be overwhelmed, and and also see that it's obviously showing uh, too many rubrics. And um, there's another feature here you can use to rectify the situation somewhat. So um, let's just assume we're, we're looking for mouth pain again, pain star, and we're getting 320 results. Um, and we have our, uh, our swelling uh, uh, again, say in the, in the gums or in the palate. And, um, and we get these 320 rubrics and, and, and are overwhelmed by going, having to go through all these four pages of results. So um, we see, for instance, here that there's uh, rubrics having to do with ear, which is probably not, not relevant for our swelling, face pain, and so on, head pain. Okay, so these are obvious ones, but they're not so many. Um, we can look at them in a minute, but there's also other ones, for instance, here, um, pain, aching palate, okay, biting, boring, yeah, it could be boring, the, a boring type of pain in the palate, but there's also pain burning, 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 burning. You see, there's a lot of burning pains and the swellings usually are not burning. They're more like a pressing, boring, drawing uh, pain, uh, I would argue, or let's just say that's, that's, that's what we're dealing with. And so all these, these burning are really just uh, a distraction and, and more work. And so what we can do is, what's already suggested here in that yellow box, that yellow box, if you just quickly look at that, it says high number of results, maybe try narrowing your search using minus, yeah, here. Like mouth, pain, star, minus burning. And it also suggests a wildcard here because it, it does that because yes, there is a number, a high number of results. <clears throat> and um, apart from the word mouth and pain, the third, most common term that's in these rubrics apparently is burning and that's not relevant to us so we can just exclude it from the search so we 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 we're now changing the search you can use this button here to this arrow here to bring up the last search term if you press this it comes back up which is mouth pain star but but exclude all the results that have burn in them yeah star you could have we could have also clicked on this link that does it for us, but I wanted to show you this uh, specifically this minus. So this is 320 rubrics now, and now we want the same search again, but exclude all this burning stuff because it just doesn't burn. You know, it's just not what we're looking for. Let's just click on find. And um, yeah, we more than halved the, the results to do. Uh, oh, sorry, no, we didn't more than half it, but we took, we took out a, 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 a good third of the results. And we took out uh, 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 almost a hundred rubrics from the from the results. So um, this is a huge step down. We could we could further 
um, uh, narrow it down by excluding everything with tongue, uh, which is what OREP suggests. But I'm not sure if this does, if there's a lot of tongue rubrics here, if this does a lot uh, um, more cutting of, uh, of results for us. Let's have a look. Let's try that. Oh, wow, it does actually. Uh, so, but we don't want to click on this again because the next one it suggests it wants to take out gums. That's not very good. But but we're down now to 162 results from 320. I think we initially started with, and all that if we click on here by using minus twice. Yeah? And as you can see here, you can combine the minus with the wildcard. So this search again, summing it up, when you have when you have too many results, this this search looks for mouth pain and excludes everything burning, everything to do with tongue. Yeah. So lesson one is if you don't have enough results, if you don't find the right ones, use the wildcards and get more results. The second is if you have too many, maybe try narrowing it down uh, with a minus. Uh, or, you know, by adding more search terms, you also narrow it down, of course. You can add gums and, uh, yeah, and we narrow it down immediately to our roughly close to 50 that we had before. But I just wanted, for the sake of argument, show you what the minus does. The next feature I want to show you, and uh, that's the last search feature I want to discuss today, is um, exact search. So for exact search, um, uh, in order to demonstrate it, I want to switch the repertory. We are using Herring's guiding symptoms for that, simply because I find that um, has a sort of a better use case. But I think exact search makes most sense in the Materia Medica search. And um, when you use that, you probably resort to exact search rather often and in the repertory mode, maybe not so often at all. But I just want to show you it works in the repertory mode too. And I want to show you what it is. Um, for the sake of argument, we're looking for some for some pain, yeah, it's a very generic symptom. Let's say we're looking for some undefined pain. So we chose herring, enter pain, and um, 12,000 rubrics match the word pain. We haven't, and we haven't even used the star. If we did that with pain star, let's just see what happens. 16,000, almost 17,000 rubrics, uh, which includes the painless, pains, painful, and so on. Uh, obviously, that would take a very long time to read them all. Um, but uh, let's just say we are after our undefined pains that we have. There's a, I don't know, there's a case in our mind where we where we're interested in undefined pains. And um, you see that a lot of these um, rubrics here, these are all abdominal rubrics, they all have a reference to pain undefined. Uh, if we do this, if you're looking now for pain undefined, we still get 4,424 rubrics for pain undefined, which is still too much, it's 45 result pages. Um, yeah, it suggests to exclude abdomen, which we could do, but there's also another thing which we can do. And that is if you're really just interested in following this reference here, for instance, if you just want to see exactly those pain undefined and not say, I don't know what, what, what else is in here. Let's just scroll down. Let's just go somewhere. I don't know. Let's just, yeah, let's just look here, pain undefined. Um, let's just look for. Yeah, this is all different different writings of, of 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 a similar thing, I guess. But if you if you want to look for especially especially in particular for that reference here, which says uh, C pain undefined, we can just use exactly that term in our search by putting it into these columns. So you see here these quotation marks. I should say sorry, these quotation marks here, and in the end here. And if we now click on search, these 4,000 rubrics become 600 rubrics, uh, six pages, which is probably still too much. Um, and we haven't really a, a fleshed out detailed case here, but I just wanted to show you that feature, how you can do the exact search. Like I said, I think this makes a lot more sense in Materia Medica search. And when I have a video on that, um, you, will, you will see that feature again and how useful it is. But the search, I've said it initially in the video, is the same for the Materia Medica part and the repertory part. And these are the three defining features. You can look everything up again from this video. If you click on uh, the frequently asked questions up here, um, yes, we want to leave the page. That means we are dismissing the case that we've built up at the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. We're losing it because we're loading a different page. Um, and if you scroll to the bottom of this frequently asked questions and answers um, page, then you see 
the three cases I've just outlined here. <clears throat> Uh, the question why am I not getting the good search results from OREP and there's possibly three major reasons why you may be dissatisfied with the search results of the site and then the three remedies which we've just discussed. The last thing I want to mention although it's not specific to any feature or, or, or anything to the search um, in this program is that um, at the time of making this video at least there's no thesaurus, there's no uh, synonyms, dictionary, whatever used. So you have to enter the terms exactly how they are spelled out in the repertories. So I, I, I make the assumption that um, the, the person that uses OREP has had a look in these types of books before, has familiarized himself or herself with, with, how, with the language before. Um, some of these books are very old and um, and, and don't use very modern language and you have to find exactly what it is. So for instance, when you're um, a, a, a very typical symptom is a lot of people have, have watery eyes when there's a draft or so when, when you're looking for something like this, let's say eye star, water star, um, then you find a, a bunch of rubrics, but you find sort of um, um, accurate um, discharges or you find the, the, the um, um, aggravation with the with the when, when the lids are, are gluing together or so on you you don't really find eye pain cold water ameliorates and so on you don't find this this really common and 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 harmless peculiar symptom what you what you need is you need to find the medical term which is lacrimation for this and you don't even need to spell it or remember it you can just use the vowel cord lac and then i and you find yeah you find eye lacrimation or here in cold air, for instance, uh, specific to pulsatilla, especially and sepia and, and um, silica. Uh, I can just click on it and add it to our case. It's a very useful, peculiar symptom, and um, you have to know how it's, how it's um, 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 written. Similar thing would be, for instance, hair loss. When you enter hair loss, a very common thing as well, uh, you find nothing. Hair loss star, still nothing. So there's two ways. You can try the alopecia, which is the medical name, which in this case I don't think is successful. Let's just try this. No. But you can try hair falling or fall. If you look for hair, then you have head hair falling, for instance. You can add this. Um, so what I, what I want to say is basically there's, there's not any any guessing um, of, a, of a dictionary or some AI or whatever that, that, that tries to guess what, what you may have meant if the search fails you. You really have to look for the words that are in the dictionary, uh, sorry, that are in the repertory. Um, um, and um, a final example I want to give is you have a lot of these, when you repertorize, you have a lot of um, these, these modalities, things that make it better or things that make it worse. And um, they're also spelled differently in every repertory. Sometimes you see worse, sometimes you see better, um, and so on. Um, sometimes you have aggravation, sometimes you have amelioration, and so on. Um, if you know how this is written, um, you can you can just enter it up here. But most repertories use at least something like this. Um, for instance, uh, uh, say uh, warmth ameliorates. Then you do warm amel rather than amelioration. And then you see that actually Kent, because the Publicum um, repertory is based on Kent, that Kent um, shortcuts this amelioration to amel dot. Um, amil, amil. So if you're looking for amelioration in general, you know, for instance, warmth amelioration, you have 217 rubrics, but you wouldn't find it if you're looking, if you're spelling it out, amelioration, nothing. Uh, so you have to, you have to have warm amil and you get this. The same when you're looking for warmth aggravation, then you do just a g g star, and then you have warm drinks aggravate warmth aggravates and so on, warm room aggravates. Yeah, this is very useful if you're looking for these types of um, modalities. Right, and with this, I want to conclude um, today's video on repertory search. I hope you found this useful. You can try this out in Materia Medica too, and maybe see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.